Most of us can name at least a few endangered species, polar bears, pandas, or tree frogs. However, these aren't the only species under threat as our climate changes. If you want to see the damage of climate change, look no further than our own rivers, forests, and national parks. It makes sense why certain animals get included first when we talk about climate change. These tend to be animals that people worldwide are familiar with. They can grab widespread attention, raising awareness and raising funds for organizations trying to fight climate change. However, that attention might not always be a good thing. Recent studies have shown that it can be more effective to talk about issues closer to home, like extreme weather. While these animals might have a unique ability to keep the spotlight, that's also part of the problem. People who learn this way can sometimes go away seeing climate change as a one-dimensional problem, one that doesn't directly affect them. That couldn't be further from the case. That said, animals can still provide a valuable connection that gets people to care and want to learn more about the environment. There is a way to bring these two ideas together, introducing people to the species in their own backyards that climate change puts at risk. In Kentucky, those include populations of bats, fish, frogs, and insects. Some of these, like the relic darter, are only found in Kentucky, threatened as the streams they live in warm and become polluted. Others, like monarch butterflies of the Indiana bat, are in danger throughout the United States. These creatures are harmed by changes in their local ecosystems. Increases in populations of ticks, higher overall temperatures, more frequent droughts, and changes in local plant populations. Not only are these changes that affect us humans as well, but they're also changes that people can do something about. Animals can be both the gateway to learning about our local environments, and help illustrate what we can do to help them. Staying informed is the first step in trying to help conserve Kentucky's wildlife. The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife State Wildlife Action Plan, or SWAP, identifies over 500 species all over Kentucky that are either endangered or are threatened by changes in their environments. SWAP includes many different means of action and advocacy, including many that average Kentuckians can be a huge part of. Local people can help in many ways, educating friends and family, advocating for conservation efforts with their local government, or volunteering with local environmental efforts, like wildlife identification projects or tree plantings. Having the effects of climate change be so close to home is scary, but it also means that we can make even more of a difference in trying to stop them.